American entertainment and media is in a sorry state. So much so, it's almost laughably bad. But there is nothing funny about it. Because art seems to do more influencing nowadays rather than imitating life. Hollywood's upcoming movies and TV shows suck. And the strike is meaningless. Because no one cares if the writers are replaced with AI. And actors are on thin ice as it is. So they know that their time is coming too. Frankly, I'd rather deal with an emotionless robot that won't comment on social political BS than some pretentious asshole <laughs> that did one movie role and now they think they're God's gift to intellectualism. Listen, I hate to be this dystopian, but my God, if you look at all that we have coming up, it doesn't inspire excitement, but it invokes lethargy. So residual checks. And so this is the not been open. It's, it's like a mystery pack. This one, I guess, is a better one. This is from a show called Justified. And here's a residual check for, it's $123. So that's that's respectable. That's some gas money, I guess. Okay, so this is a show called Bones, $49. The fact that actors are complaining about small residual checks is amazing. From shows no one's watching or even cares about. Or remembers. But you get a check for life. Meanwhile, YouTube does not give you a fraction of that sort of financial security. You gotta write, you gotta direct, you gotta act in it, you gotta shoot it, then, then you gotta do the business end on your own to make sure you don't get audited into oblivion. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy's complaining about a worry-free check. I only got $150 to be in the background of Bones. Who are you, sir? Let's get back on subject look at the lead actress for the upcoming box office bomb, Snow White. She's schooling all of us unwashed masses yet again. The, the cartoon was made 85 years ago, and therefore it's extremely dated when it comes to the ideas of women being in roles of power and, uh, and what a woman is fit for in the world. And so when we came to reimagining the actual role of Snow White, it became about the fairest of them all, meaning who is the most just? Holy shit. The hubris is actually insane. It's a fairy tale from a different time. This is a classic case of the creatively bankrupt given free reign to destroy anything they deem unworthy or problematic. And who uh, can become a fantastic leader. And the reality is, you know, Snow White has to learn a lot of lessons about coming into her own power before she can come into power over a kingdom. Also, the fact that she's not going to be saved by the prince and she's the proactive one and she's the one who said It's a children's fairy tale passed down for generations. Not some thesis project for some angry feminist in her last semester of college. Cultural fascism is the age in which we live. If you're telling me that the people behind this Snow White movie could never work again after the strike is over, I'm sorry, but I don't see a problem with this. In fact, my give a damn just broke. Another example of modern day audience entertainment. The Secret Invasion, arguably one of the last great Marvel sagas before Disney bought them in 2009. It was reimagined for Disney Plus i.e. they bastardized it to fit the cinematic universe they created. Ugh. Believe it or not, I'm serious here. The Secret Invasion comics were a great storyline. The MCU took something unique and interesting and they destroyed it. This show is completely unrecognizable from the Secret Invasion I read back in like 2005, bro. Nothing about this show mirrors the creative storytelling and character development of the original Secret Invasion. Since there's no Marvel, because you get Brie Larson. Is that like a personal attack or something? Or you... you don't get the ending twist between Marvel and Miss Marvel of him actually being so deep undercover as a scroll he didn't realize he wasn't Marvel. So he was actually fighting to protect the human race when he was basically sent there to help destroy it. So, you know, that's. That's interesting. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. Now you get this sorry mess of a show that I guess now the strongest person in the MCU is the chick from Game of Thrones. If I don't know her name, nor do I care. I'm not going to spend all day on this. But long story short, this show is so poorly written, 
with glaring plot issues that are just as bad as the CGI, I recommend that you do not waste your time watching it. It is garbage. The director of Secret Invasion says, Marvel fans have too many expectations. Ah, yes. We are the assholes for wanting a decent story based on the source material that was actually great, you Earth bombs. I, for one, welcome our AI overlords because there's no way in hell they could be any worse than this. You know what's sad? What's genuinely sad is that She-Hulk is more coherent than Secret Invasion as far as storytelling goes. <laughs> By the way, one of the writers of She-Hulk only got a residual check of $360. And then they put the Disney CEO on blast for them only getting that amount of money. And frankly, I have to say he is grossly overpaid and poorly dressed. Frankly, if this person was writing She-Hulk, it makes perfect sense that the show was so far out of touch, so stupid, so completely unfunny, uninteresting, and unthought-provoking. It was an absolute mess of just misandry that was so catastrophic that it did brand damage to She-Hulk. If you were collecting She-Hulk comics before this show dropped, you know what I'm talking about. You've lost money. <laughs> All these untalented people. It really feels like most of these shows, honest to God, are helmed by people who want to do their own thing, but they're forced to work on projects that they probably absolutely hate and despise. So they take it upon themselves to fix it and they end up making it worse and wonder why we all hate them and don't care if they become jobless. Why should a writer for She-Hulk have more job security than a kid flipping fries at McDonald's? And I'll tell you this, the kid flipping fries has brought me more joy <laughs> than She-Hulk ever has. And you know what I'm talking about? When you get a hot meal and you got them fresh crispy fries with your chicken sandwich, you're like, yes, I am bawling so hard like the mayor. I never got that feeling from She-Hulk. Remember to cut that out still. No. Where am I in this godforsaken script? Let's not forget Superman, the wannabe anime. This show is a steaming pile of horseshit that I swear is a children's show, but it's marketed towards adults? Why? I don't know. Among this show's many unforgivable sins, one of them being changing iconic DC characters to look like every stereotypical modern character design trope imaginable that has ever graced Cartoon Network, I could puke. The writing has all the intellectual complexity of a Voss stream. And Drake Jojo compared the classic Reeves Superman scenes where Lois tries to prove that Clark Kent is Superman to the mental midget writing of the Cartoon Network Superman show. And depression ensues. Let's take it one step further. This show has crazy inconsistencies in animation. If you watch Superman's face, his scars disappear and reappear at random depending on which shot you're looking at. Everything about this show is half-assed. I've railed against the animation before, but it seems like it hasn't gotten better, and the fact that it's already approved for a second season is mind-blowing. Most likely this is the Velma-itis, where Warner Brothers approves two seasons for a show off the rip and everybody pretends like, oh, it was so good it got another season. You might remember Late Night with Lily Singh also did the same thing. From these few shining examples of what is and a few sad reminders of what will be, is it any wonder that there is a moral decay in our society? Granted, most people suck by default, but if you give them nothing to aspire to, they will never dare to dream to be greater. If our art and media does not invoke some sort of sense of morality or self-worth, Something that picks people up and makes them want to be more, but yet relatable, but not preachy. Then of course you're gonna get bums on the street in California turning into a Wrigley Scott movie. Well, the future looks bleak for Hollywood. And in fact, all of California when you think about it. The new Disney shows and movies dropping look like absolute bores. The Witcher is pretty much canceled now that the strike is on. The Secret Invasion is the biggest MCU flop since Miss Marvel on Disney Plus. 
and the Marvel could be delayed again for reshoots because it's just that powerful. Mm. So much girl power can only fit in so many minutes. I, I can't do anything with this, dude. I can't. How am I supposed to make the Marvels funny? 30 seconds of your life wasted on something that looks like a CW special. <sighs> you know what? Go watch Jujutsu Kaisen. It's so much better than all of the trash I've talked about combined, dude. Do yourself a favor. Go watch it. Go watch something that was written by one person. <laughs> And not a committee of freaks with blue and pink hair that think that they're going to solve all the world's issues by screwing up great storylines. May you burn in hell, Hollywood. And I'll probably see you there alongside Dark Side Phil. I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. 